take this one and open it up so we've got it facing each other. What I've basically done now is sliced it in half and we now have this mid-sagittal view running right through the head and neck region. So let me point out a few features in the respiratory system and then also a few in the digestive system. So you can picture what happens when we breathe through our nose. Air enters through here, superior, middle, inferior, nasal concha within the nasal cavity. You can see frontal sinus, sphenoidal sinus. You can imagine that air coming down, passing all the way through nasopharynx, oropharynx, laryngopharynx, and that air would then travel all the way down the trachea. And again, this is the windpipe that's going to lead to the lungs. Same thing mirrored on the opposite side. One nice thing in terms of differences that you can see here is this one shows, again, that nasal cavity in the mid-sagittal view. So you can see the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. You can see hyaline cartilage. You can see vomer. This essentially is our nasal septum. That's the wall that separates one side of our nasal cavity from the other. But again, you can picture air coming all the way down, traveling down the trachea and into our lungs. Another thing you can see here is what happens when we chew food. So in our digestive tract, right, we have that food getting chewed up in our mouths, moving past the tongue. This is hard palate. This is soft palate. You can imagine when the swallowing reflex kicks in, our tongue pushes up our uvula kicks back, and that food stuff starts to make its way down in this direction. Well, at this point, as our larynx moves upward, our epiglottis is gonna fold over, covering our windpipe. So what happens right here? That food stuff gets directed to the back of your oral cavity, the back of your laryngopharynx, and it starts going down this tube right here. It doesn't look like much right here, but this is actually the esophagus. You can see it again mirrored on this side. The esophagus is that food pipe that leads to our stomach. So you can see the trachea here, very thin esophagus right here, narrow I should say. And then obviously we have the cervical vertebrae right through here. And obviously to the back of the neck. So when food goes down here, it's actually moving through as a bolus of food. Uh, peristalsis is taking its way down the esophagus, but it's, it's kind of a closed tube until that food is actually moving all the way through.